You've watched Time Warner Cable Metro Sports on Channel 232. But beginning April 19th, watch it on Channel 310. Same great programming, new channel. You'll still get Kansas City sports. We expect to win every year. Huskers. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. Husker basketball recap show. And local sports. Find out of there. it in the sports category. Channel 310. Time Warner Cable Metro Sports. Defensively, we're in pretty good shape. You know, our, our emphasis this spring was becoming more multiple and really forcing them to be more comfortable out of the base calls and into the pressures and our movements. And uh, we feel like we're getting there. We're not there yet because uh, you still got to spend a segment of time working your base stuff. Um, so I, I think we're, we're getting there, and hopefully by the end of spring we'll have accomplished our goals there. Carl, can you kind of assess where Eric's at, Martin's at? With Eric is having a heck of a spring. He's really playing well as a defensive end. He's playing well uh, in all the different roles we're asking him to play. And, uh, you know, he's it's it's been a great spring for Eric. He's really made that transition well, and and he's going to be a force for us next year. Did, did getting a jump a little bit at the end of last year? Yeah, I think so. I think that go. helped. Yeah, it helped, and he's really taking it seriously and and playing well. Is his tools just going to fit what you need there, or what you're looking for? There? Uh, he gives you a little different look um, than some of the other guys give us. Maybe a little more speed and athleticism. Um, not quite the size, but he's plenty strong enough. So. Hey, when the quarterbacks don't have green, I mean, do you prefer that the quarterbacks don't have green jerseys on as a defensive coach from your perspective? Oh, I don't care. I mean, you know, we try we try not to blind shot them in the pocket, but when they take when they become running backs, then we treat them like a running back, you know, so I don't really care. Hey, where are things at at cornerback kind of behind Dennard and Siante Evans? I mean, who are the, some of the other guys right now that have oh, Andrew Green is really having a good spring. Um, you know, Dijon Washington is playing well. Uh, Josh Mitchell is playing well. And I don't want to miss anybody, so i got to think here for a second. But, you know, those are the guys that come to mind. Um, so we're really developing some depth there, yeah, which is important because it, eventually someone's going to have to move in and play nickel and someone's going to have to play dime. And, and so it's important to get some depth at that corner position. How much this different has it been this year, I guess, at the linebacker spot, getting all those guys back healthy and everybody a year older? Um, I still hate them all, most of them. I still hate most of them, but um, it's been it's been good. You got some great leadership, not only at that position, but on the defense in general. Having Fish back, and you know he's a heady player, and and Will on the field with Levante, and um, you know the backups are starting to come, and so you know that's that's a goal for us. Bo mentioned that the other day. It's something that we got to keep stepping up and and develop some backups at that position, and we are. We're starting to get there. Levante talked about how much better he feels from a communication aspect when Will and Sean are on the field. Do, do you see a noticeable difference in that aspect? I think so. I think that, yeah, they're getting used to playing together and, and there's a lot of talking uh, across the whole defense. I mean, there's a lot of communication on defense between safeties and linebacker, too. And really, if you look at that group, um, Fish, Levante, Will, Cassidy, um, Osborne, P.J. Smith, those are all guys who are experienced, get the scheme, and so there is a lot of communication going on, which is helping us. For a high school guy, how has Kevin Williams come in and adjusted? No, he's dinged up now. He's not practicing right now, but but he had a, he had a great spring. He really impressed all the coaches, and looks like a veteran out there. I mean, he really, it's shocking. Um, you know, both of our newcomers. You know, I mean, it's shocking how quickly they adapted to college football. How's Chase Rome different now than he was a year ago when he came in? Uh, he's not, you know, he's not a high school guy anymore. He's playing with technique. He's not just trying to manhandle people, and you know, he's really, really taken to the fine points of playing defensive tackle. So, can you talk about Thad Randall's spring so far? Thad's had a great spring. You know, he's running with the the ones right now, and and uh, um, you know, physically, he's a different player. He's still got his speed, but he's a lot stronger in there, and he handles the double teams and um, really athletic. You know, he's a really athletic defensive tackle. So. Have you ever enjoyed this much sheer, just young talent and depth at defensive tackle as maybe you have right now with all these guys we're asking? Um, no, no, and and it extends out to the end position really. Once you get Cameron and Crick back. Um, 
it's it's going to be great. I mean, I, you need depth at that position. That's something that we've developed over the years, and now we're kind of paying the rewards of that. Contrast that just to when you guys got here. I know there wasn't a ton of depth. I mean, it, it seems like you've made, you guys have made a really concerted effort to make sure that's one of the most important aspects of the whole team, not just the defense. But the yeah, I mean, we I think on both sides of the ball, as you know, in our recruiting philosophy, it's kind of become you got to be good up front. I mean, to be good defensively, you got to be good up front. Offensively, you got to be good up front. So we've really, as a staff, made a concerted effort early in the recruiting process to identify big guys, you know, and, and really recruit them hard as an entire staff and not just leave it up to one guy to try and land them, you know. Were you guys, I know last Saturday you guys had a big scrimmage. Uh, are you guys doing the same kind of format tomorrow with practice? Yeah, we'll have. I mean, we'll shoot. We scrimmaged 100, 100 plus plays last Saturday. Probably do the same thing tomorrow. And that'll be, you know, aside from the spring game where, you know, you're kind of splitting up. And this will be the last time we'll, we'll scrimmage as units, you know, and we'll, we'll divide those units up for the spring game probably. Are Ogoyemi and Vestal still working at defensive end or have either of them moved inside? No, they, they're both working at defensive end and, and um, you know, they're freshmen. They got, they got a ways to go. And the nice thing about those young D linemen, you talk about depth, is you don't have to push them into the fire because we've got a lot of good seniors and, and older guys ahead of them. So, you know, they really have time to develop. You can coach them hard. And, They've got some time yet to spend in the weight room and, and make themselves better players. Have you identified some guys that can play that peso position, and do you anticipate using that as much as you did? Uh, yeah, we'll still use that. Maybe not as much, you know. And, and uh, but you know, we're looking at, at Justin Blatchford and Siante Evans and Corey Cooper, and all those guys are getting snaps in there. Lance Thorell, so they're all getting snaps as nickels and as dimes and as pesos. So. What would you say is the biggest difference this spring with the move to the Big Ten this year? What would we notice? Um, I think probably playing more three linebacker packages and, and bigger people and, and really emphasizing that aspect of our defense as much as we are the spread stuff. Is there a lot more movement this year? Um, Mm, yes, for sure. I mean, that's something that, like I said in the beginning, I, I think that was our goal going in is to become a team that is better at pressure, better at movement, better at blitz. Is it going to go back to what the 4-3 used to be like, or is that something that's completely different? You know, I, I, go, I, I still go back to when we were playing with two linebackers. We were still playing our 4-3 defense. We were just playing. We were using a safety to play the outside linebacker position. But when they were in big sets, we... We didn't change any calls, so we're still running the same defenses. It's just based on the personnel we have in there. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, it, it's it's our four three five two. You know, we play both. We're fairly multiple three four philosophy. So how will what you ask Levante David to do be different from last year? What do you? It won't be. It won't be. Uh, it, it'll be exactly the same position he played last year. You know, the the guy, the guy who's actually playing. In place of our peso is Fish, is Sean Fisher, and and then we could always bring in a DB to play that against a team who gets into spread formations out of big personnel. So, with the tackles that you've got defensively, guys like uh, Jay Guy and, and Chase Rome, would they have an opportunity to? to everybody has an opportunity. I mean, everybody has an opportunity to win it. I think probably Chase is a little bit closer, but Jay has had a good spring. And we got some good talent there. I mean, I, I'm comfortable with our threes at defensive tackle. I mean, I, I, we can go three, maybe four, into that practice and, and not have a huge drop off. So, um, all those guys have an opportunity to play. It'll be a good. It'll be a good fall camp as you know we're trying to lock in units. You know. How important is it to have like Levante and Crick and Dennard step up to be leaders this year as you guys kind of move to big. the big? Big. I mean, it's big, and 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 you could throw into that mix Austin Cassidy and Will Compton those guys are really starting to become vocal leaders on our defense and, and we've always had a bunch of guys lead by example and now we got some good leadership leaders guys who will talk and get our guys fired up Josh Williams is, is yeah. doing a great job with that too I mean I think Cameron Meredith will be that kind of kid so you know, we've got a good group of character guys you know and, and uh, it's going to serve us well I think